Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, or just welcome if you are new. My name is The Clumsy Simmer and we are back in Newcrest today and I am doing a starter home for you guys. <laughs> and this is a different starter home than I usually do. I wanted to really challenge myself and do a two starter store uh, starter home. That's not something I ever do, ever. I don't ever do a starter home that's two stories. And the reason being is just because <laughs> I run out of simoleons. I can never, I get the outside of the house built and it looks good, but I either do it too big or I just end up running out of simoleons. I just can never make it work. And so I really wanted to challenge myself and do a two story starter home. And I ended up making a single mom with a little baby infant girl and so this is a single mom starter home i mean honestly a single dad can live here too it's not really that girly it's it's really more blue than pink i almost broke down and painted this build pink instead <laughs> but what i i ended up doing that and it just was not looking right to me with the paint the pink paneling there was just something off about it I, I love the color pink, but there's something about the color pink being on, the, on a house that just does not sit right with me. There's something about it that just doesn't look good. I guess the, it just isn't normal. Kind of like a pink car. Have you guys ever seen a, a pink car out in public? And it just is not something you see often. And so it just... I don't know there's something off about it <laughs> and so I would never have a pink car in my life either that's just something I would never do I'd never paint my house pink and I'd never have a pink car on the outside that's not saying that all pink houses are bad because there are you know different cultures like Puerto Rico is one of them that have the really colorful houses and it really fits that that vibe and that culture and it just fits that area you know so not all pink houses are bad. <laughs> it's just, I guess a suburban American style house like this, the pink just doesn't look right to me. There's, there's just something off about it. And so I decided to not do the pink and do this light blue slash brick instead. And I am really happy with the way this looks. I don't do that half brick, half paneling very often but it really fit the outside of this house. And something else that I don't do very often is that, that those window panels being black, but there is something about it once I switch the swatch to from white to black, it just makes with that black roof so well. It just, it just really fit. And so I really wanted to make that work. And so I ended up just, I, I went with that. <laughs> and called it a day on the outside of the house for the most part um for the coloring of the walls anyways and i also wanted to make sure i added a fence a fence is something i like to add on the outside of my houses whether it's a starter home or not a starter home it's just makes it more realistic and who would like to live in a house that didn't have a fence i mean not not me at all Especially since I do have three dogs. <laughs> I mean, what a nightmare would it be to not have a fence? Like, I do have neighbors in real life that don't have a fence. And they have two dogs. And they harass everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> and so, yeah. Um, that's not something I want my Sims neighbors to deal with. Because I know how bad that sucks. My fiancé was literally ran up on by these dogs and he had to jump in the back of his truck luckily he was by his truck you know because these are aggressive dogs too these aren't friendly dogs because i love dogs so i wouldn't have a problem if they were friendly but these are aggressive dogs they come up barking and growling at us and i've seen them run up and growl at several people walking down our street there was this poor girl one day that was walking her dog and these dogs ran up on her and had her pinned up against like this I live in front I don't own cows but I live in front of a cow pasture <laughs> and no it doesn't smell as bad as you would think it does but anyways um 
these dogs had this girl and her dog pinned up against that cow pasture fence, which if you guys know about cow pastures, you would know that fence is most likely electrified. So that my neighbors really are quite lucky that that didn't turn out worse than it could have. It, her or her dog could have been electrocuted. Her or her dog could have been mauled by my neighbor's dogs, you know? So it turned out not bad. Uh, my fiance ended up, the reason why we heard this going on is because I didn't hear it going on. My fiance heard screaming and someone screaming help. And so he went out there to see what was happening and it was her with her dog. She was in between the her dog and the dogs trying to get her dog. And so um, the my neighbors ended up coming out around the same time that we did. And luckily the dogs listened to my neighbors. They don't always listen to them, but they did this time. And so nobody got hurt, thank God. I do believe God had a lot to do with that. Um, that really could have turned out bad. But um, luckily it didn't. And so, with that being said, um, I went on a whole tangent just by saying I wanted to put a fence around my Sims house. But, um, yeah, so that was a little bit of a story time, but we're going to get back into the build now. And I have the front yard pretty much finished. I did add a car onto the side and kind of like I used terrain paint to paint like the driveway and the sidewalk up to the house because I didn't want to spend extra money on simoleons and, or I didn't want to spend extra simoleons on the pavements when you could just use terrain paint and that terrain paint I don't use very often and so when I was able to use it this time I was quite happy and it, it looks really good I I really love that terrain paint I don't know why I haven't used it before now I don't think I've ever used it and um but I am happy with it. I'll probably use it more in the future. And so we got the backyard finished. Well, not finished, but we're working on it. And I, all of the, this landscaping is from debug. And so your Sims may or may not walk through this debug. I'm not sure if that's something that the Sims team has fixed or not. I know back when debug first came out, that was what happened, was that your Sims walked through it. And um, something else I don't like about debug is that when you have uh, seasons, unless this is fixed in a recent patch, but from my knowledge it's not, it, it doesn't alter with the seasons. And so when fall comes around, these trees do not change colors and they do not drop leaves. And I don't like that. <laughs> And so, and also when winter comes around and it's snowing, you know how the actual landscaping in the game that isn't debug will lose its leaves. Um, I don't think the debug landscaping does that. So that would either, you'll either love that or hate that. It just depends. The reason why I hate that is because it's just not realistic. And my gameplay is realistic gameplay. That's something that I, I like to do for my games. Um... So yeah, uh, but when you're doing a starter home, I mean, you got to choose with either using this debug landscaping or having absolutely no landscaping whatsoever and it being blank and ugly on the outside. And so when I'm doing starter homes, I will use debug landscaping. Um, and then if, as I progress through my game, if I'm actually playing with the starter home and I have the debug landscaping. As I progress through my game, I will delete the debug landscaping and replace it with real landscaping. Or I will just wait until my sim saved up enough simoleons to de completely demolish this house and replace it with um, a new house. And so I'll, I'll do a new house, a new landscaping, do all that. So, and then I'll most likely not use debug landscaping that time, depending on if I have enough simoleons or not. <laughs> Cause I do, I don't like to use cheats in my Sims game. I used to be a full on cheat player. <laughs> and so like, I wouldn't actually, I would just use the cheats for money and to raise my Sims, um, needs up and 
that was a kid when I, when I used to do that for The Sims 2, really, because The Sims 2 is harder than The Sims 4. Um, if you played The Sims 2 recently, you would probably agree with me. But, um, yeah, there was just, I stopped doing that as I grew older because it kind of defeats the purpose of the game and makes the game boring, in my opinion, if you use cheats. If you use too many cheats. So if you do the cheat needs and you, um, the simoleon cheats, it just, and then like even cheats to progress through your career, it's just, it gets boring. And I have a hard time sticking with one family as it is. It's like I'll start with one or two Sims and have the, it's a rags to riches type thing. So they'll have no money and no career, no house, no nothing. And I build it up. And by the time I build it up to the second or third generation, my Sim have, has plenty of simoleons, has a big enough house. They have all these kids probably, and it just is monotonous after that. And I end up giving up after like two or three generations. I have never been able to do a legacy challenge all the way to 10 generations. And that's something that I've always been wanting to do, but it's just, I lose interest after a while. So I might end up doing that still. If I do do that, I'm probably going to do a let's play version of it. And so it kind of gives me a purpose and gives me more, you know, reason to stick with that particular game. If I have, you know, people watching it or waiting for me to post a new video of that particular Let's Play, it'll give me more drive to do it is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's not something that I'm seriously thinking about or not. It's just something that's come across in my mind before but um yeah so we are let's get back to the build we pretty much have this all done <laughs> um this came together really quickly and it's because it is a starter home so you can only decorate it so much you you have the bare necessities and maybe a few decorations and that's really about it with starter homes it's hard to do it any more than that i probably could have got back into debug and pulled out some like house decor but that's not something I felt like I really needed to do I feel like the inside of this house for it being a starter home really is quite full and decorated to an ex extent of course this is a starter home so it's not going to be super cluttered like some of my other builds are but it really it looks good for it being a starter home and I ended up for the kitchen, I ended up putting like a platform down. So the kitchen is kind of sunk down and the rest of the house is up. And I, I like the way that looks. Um, it gives it some dimension without using walls. So that's something else for starter homes. Walls do cost money, of course, and so the more walls you have in your house and the more archways and the more doors in your house, the more the house is going to be. And so if you're trying to save money on a starter home, not having walls, <laughs> having an open floor plan will go, will help you go a long way. It, it really will. And so I think that's what helped this house is not having the kitchen and living room and dining room all being separate rooms. We have walls for the bedrooms, of course, and the bathrooms. And that's really all the walls you need. Open floor plans, I feel like, are quite popular nowadays. Um, that's something you see really quite often in a lot of newer houses. And even older houses back that were built in like the 90s, I feel like the open floor plan kind of started coming around then. Any houses older than 90s, I feel like, are more closed off unless it's been renovated. But, um... Yeah, so we are finishing up the build, finishing up the backyard. The backyard is quite boring. There's not really anything but a bench you'll come to see in the screenshots. I do not believe I have that. I, I don't believe I recorded that part. <laughs> um, I ended up putting something else there and I had to remove it. I ran out of simoleons. And so I had to remove it so that I could put simoleons. The staircase for some reason ended up disappearing. <laughs> it was this whole thing. 
but uh anyways we are coming up to this screenshot so we are finishing up the build i just want to say thank you to y'all who watch it i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like share and subscribe it'll help me out a lot you can download this on my gallery which is linked down below and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one bye guys a heart speed to the city streets we begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher the night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine we want to chase the night